Hello, today I'll show you how to make a day and night cycle in Scratch. As you can see, you can change the time, which will then change the sun's position. And depending on if it's the moon or the sun, the brightness will change. So let's get started. First, delete the cat and paint a sprite. Name it sun slash moon. Use the circle tool, make sure there's no outline, and make the fill a nice bright yellow color. Make it a good size. Then, use the circle tool again, this time with a gradient, make sure that that's nothing. And create a larger circle. And put both of them in the middle. Now make this go back, select both, and move here. Make sure to press Shift to snap in. Now duplicate this, make this circle a nice gray bluish color like this and same with this part make this smaller though and now in here duplicate make it darker and then play around with the size and use the reshape tool if you want this will be like the craters for the moon. And after you're done, after you're done, go back into code. And now, when green flag is clicked, go to zero, zero. Also in here, make sure that this goes in the middle, and then to the right, like this. Anyways, back in here, go to zero, and then negative 100, actually. Then, create a new variable named hour for all sprites. Set hour to any number you want, for example, 12. Then forever, create a new variable named time for all sprites. Set time to hours divided by 24. Subtracted, okay, subtracted by time and divided by 5. And actually make this change time. Now, point in direction time times. 360 this is the main thing and then this just makes it smooth now go to back now if you test as you can see if it the hour is 12 then it will go here and if you right show the hour variable, right click, right click again to make a slider, then change slider range 24, you can change its position. Now, go into stage, then backdrop, use the box tool, then use this gradient, make it a nice sky color. 
like this. And then after you're done with it, now in code when green flag is clicked, create two new variables named max darkness and then darkness level set max darkness to 80 then forever set darkness level to direction of sun and moon divided by negative 180 Then times times max darkness times negative one. And then all of this subtracted by max darkness placed there. Then set brightness to darkness level now paint another sprite name it background use the box tool use the gradient and make it a nice green color then this one a lighter nice green color then like this then make it a solid color but now use the box tool make it a solid color drag it out like this and then reshape it to look like nice mountains like this using the reshape tool then duplicate this flip it horizontally make it go to the back make the fill lighter and adjust it with the reshape tool and after you're done go into stage drag it into background and then go to zero zero like this now if you change it as you can see it will change with it oh yeah and also make sure that not just direction of sun of moon make sure it's absolute of direction of sun and moon like this and same with backdrop absolute of direction of sun and moon or sun slash moon and now if you test it as you can see it can go dark or morning and if you want go back to sun and moon place hour in set and then do a divide 24 and then do current hour plus current minute current minute plus current second divided by 60 place this in that divide divide by 60 again 
Oh yeah, make sure you don't have a divide by 24 actually. So it should look something like this. Now if you test it, as you can see, it will change to your current time, and it's pretty accurate. Now you have a day and night cycle in scratch. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day.